Ladies and gentlemen, the officials assigned here by the DC Boxing Commission, timekeepers Billy Deschard for the knockdowns, Harry Angelico. Judge on this side, Charlie Buck. Judge on this side, Brigadier General Bob Jill Martin. Referee at this time is Ray Bowen. Ringside physician, Dr. Halstead. And in the ring at the present time, a very popular featherweight, local, Jimmy Cooper. Ten rounds. Ten rounds, St. Louis, Missouri. 132 pounds, Charlie Riley. Los Angeles, California at 129 and a half. Dave Gallardo. Ten rounds. Referee Ray Bourne is out there to give the instructions to the two fighters. That'll be Charlie Riley in the white trunks and Dave Gallardo in the black trunks with the experience belonging to Riley by some margin. He's had 86 bouts, winning 59, losing 26. Had himself a great debut. He's been fighting now for almost uh, 10 years. Gallardo turned pro in 1948 and is performing in his sixth year as a pro fighter. He's had 62 bouts, winning 45, losing 12, and has been stopped twice. He's not a heavy hitter. He has scored only eight knockouts in his career. But those of you that saw that tremendous bout between Gallardo and Percy Bassett know that he can really dish it out. And of course he can take it too because Bassett hits about as hard pound for pound as anybody in the ring today. So we're ready for round one from the Capitol Arena in Washington, D.C. Dave Gallardo against Charlie Riley. Neither man much of a puncher with the right hand. They depend mostly upon the lefts. Riley left hook and Gallardo with the straight left jab and also the left hook too. Third man in the ring tonight, Ray Bowen. He's been licensed here in the District of Columbia since 1934 as a referee. Since boxing was legalized. You won't see much of Ray. He's one of those easy workers who lets the boys do most of the breaking themselves on a word. Riley 28, Gallardo 23. This is the first round of the scheduled 10 rounder. Both boys over the featherweight limit, but can make it easily. Gallardo has a slight advantage in height and reach. Riley bigger across the chest. More heavily muscle chap. Gallardo tangled his arm in the rope as he tried to land the looping right hand. Now as the bell sounds, how about a round of the beer that's bringing you tonight's fight? Retired now and living here in Washington, D.C. Round two. In the black trunks, it's David Gallardo, Charlie Riley in the white. 
Neither man has done any heavy scoring as yet. They're both very fresh and in very good condition. Incidentally, Colonel Heine Miller tells me here that uh, he is the chairman of the Boxing Commission. But this is the only place in the country now where you can have a fight to the finish. There is no limit on the number of rounds in the District of Columbia. Not that that is likely to happen. But nevertheless, it could be done. A very busy Charlie Riley trying to pen Gallardo there in the corner. That's Riley's own corner. Gallardo, very anxious to avenge the knockout defeat that he suffered at the hands of Charlie Riley back in 1951. And Riley anxious to upset Gallardo because Gallardo ranks very high after beating Percy Bassett. You will notice Riley's uh, battle is fashioned after an attempt to tie up the left hand of Gallardo as he apparently is not too worried about the right. Twenty five seconds left in round two. Round two is over, and let's follow Davy Gallardo to his corner. He had himself a terrific year in 52 when he fought 11 times, winning them all, including a 12-rounder over Al Cruz on October 7th for the California Featherweight Championship. And then, of course, we've told you about his sensational defeat of Percy Bassett here in Washington, D.C., just a few weeks ago, which immediately prompted the fight fans to clamor for more of the very busy boy from the Pacific Coast. Charlie Riley, on the other hand, has thrilled fight fans from coast to coast with many of his uh, great performances. He won his first 12 bouts in his professional career, 11 of them by knockouts. He's defeated such men as Jimmy McAllister, Johnny Forte, Ellis Ask, Glenn Flanagan, and Favela Chavez. Hey, that's uh, Charlie Riley, and he's wearing the white trunks tonight, and he weighs 132. That's Dave Gallardo in the black trunks. Both men clever with the left hand. Riley probably with a little more steam to his left than Gallardo possesses, but Gallardo throws leather and throws it all the time. Couple of powerful little men, and they like it rough.
Gallardo trying to put the combinations together now. And he has scored with a couple of one twos. But Riley's keeping his left glove very high whenever Gallardo is on the attack. Riley has taken quite a battering around the mouth and is having difficulty keeping his mouthpiece in. Charlie calling on all of his ring generalship there to try to befuddle Davy Gallardo from California. 